Hello, grade 12s, and welcome to this lesson on reflecting functions. Let's join Karen as she teaches her students about this. For there to be a reflection, we need a line. We then define a reflection as an action that takes each point of the shape to its mirror image with respect to the line. Let's have a look at an example to make sense of this definition. Okay, here we have the graph of the original function f of x equals x squared minus 2x plus 2. So, Bojo, please place the graph on the transparency over the original graph. Right. Now, let's look at two different reflections. First, with the reflection about the x-axis. So, this is what I get. Each of the points has moved to below the x-axis. That's excellent. Now, Sindiswa. Take the graph back to its original position and try a reflection about the y-axis. So, having moved it like this, all the points on the left of the y-axis on the graph are now on the right-hand side of the y-axis and all the points that were on the left of the y-axis are now on the right-hand side. Our challenge is to work out what to do to the equation of the function in order to achieve that kind of movement. Our definition should help. Remember it spoke about each point being moved to its mirror image about the line of reflection. To help us describe this transformation using function notation, let's select some points and draw up a table just like we did before. And I've tabulated these points in a table here. Now, Cindy, let's see what happens to each of those points when there is a reflection about the x-axis. Tsaboho, please make sure you record the results in your table. OK, the point that was minus 2 and 10 is now minus 2 and minus 10. Have you got that, Tsaboho? Yes. What happens to the point that was 0 and 2? That is now 0 and minus 2. And the point that was 2 and 2 is now 2 and minus 2. Hold on. I think I see a pattern here. Check if I'm right. The point that was at 3 and 5 is now 3 minus 5. Well done, Taboho. You predicted the y value of the reflected point D correctly. Can you explain how you arrived at this result? I noticed that the x values of the original points and of the reflected points are exactly the same. But the y values have changed only their signs. The 10 has become minus 10, 2 has become minus 2, and so on. Great. So how can we describe this reflection about the x-axis using function notation? What should we do next? When we describe translations, we first wrote down the y values in function notation. Now we know that instead of writing the actual value 10 here, we can write f of minus 2 because the y value has been determined by calculating f of minus 2. And instead of 2, you can write f of 0 and so on. Excellent. Now what can we do to write the reflected points in terms of what we already have? We said earlier that the x values hadn't changed, so we only need to think about writing an expression for the y values. When these y values are exactly the same as the original y values, but with the changed sign. Yes, that's right. Can you see how to write that using function notation? I'll just write minus 10 minus f of minus 2 for the translated point of minus 2 f of minus 2. That's it. We can learn a lot from this. A reflection about the x-axis transforms any function in the same way. Although we develop this expression by studying a specific function using function notation, we can apply this to any function. Let's generalize what we have discovered. The function g of x is a reflection about the x-axis. So g of x equals minus f of x. Which leaves us to find out what happens to a function when we reflect it about the y-axis. Remember all points on the left of the y-axis on the graph are now on the right side of the y-axis on the graph. And all the points that were on the right side of the y-axis are now on the left of the y-axis. I've tabulated the points on the original graph and on the reflected graph the same way that we've done it before. What do you notice? The y values of the translated points are exactly the same as the y values of the original points. And the x values have just changed the sign. So instead of the original x value, we have minus x. 
Well done. I'm really pleased that you spotted the pattern and summarized it in terms of X. Let's summarize how we describe a reflection about the y-axis. The function g of x is a reflection about the y-axis, so g of x equals f of minus x. This scale can sometimes be a bit confusing, so let's look at it in more detail. Given that f of x is equal to 3 to the exponent of x, sketch the graph of g of x is equal to negative f of x. This is a reflection of the graph in the x-axis or about the line y equals 0. So what it means is that all the y values will have to change their signs. Let's start by plotting the original function by drawing up a table of values. If we take the x values for f of x from negative 2 to positive 2, we will have our coordinates at negative 2, 1 9th, negative 1, 1 3rd 0, 1 1, 3, and 2 9. After plotting these points, we get this function. When we reflect on the x-axis, or line y equals 0, all the y-coordinates become negative. We see this very clearly in the table. Now let's use these coordinates to plot the reflected function on the same set of axes as our original function. As we can see, the reflected function lies under the x-axis. The x-axis is the asymptote of the graph. This means the graph would approach the x-axis but would not touch or reach it. What if we were to reflect the original function over the y-axis or the line x equals 0? Find h of x is equal to f of negative x. From this equation, we see that x is negative. Therefore, we change all the signs of the x-axis. Our table of coordinates reads negative 2, 9, negative 1, 3, 0, 1, 1, a third, 2, 9th. Let us sketch the graph of h on the same set of axes as the original function. Can you see how the reflected function is increasing? This means that as the values of x coordinates increase, so do the values of the y coordinates. Thank you for joining us, Grade 12s. Remember to look at the Functions and Inverses Task video. You will also learn more on functions on our website, that is www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. Goodbye.